A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When the days were completed for their purification according to the law of Moses, Joseph and Mary took Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. Now, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace, according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of all the peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles, and glory for your people, Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted, and you yourself a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. There was also a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years, having lived seven years with her husband after her marriage, and then as a widow until she was eighty-four. And coming forward at that very time, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were awaiting the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee on their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord Praising the Author of Life Every life is a gift from God. Parents are instruments of this gift of a human person made possible by God's creative power. Hence, every life is to be celebrated and thanked for. And I guess this is basically the spirit behind the practice of presenting a child in the temple after a period has elapsed since its birth. It is an act of thanksgiving to God, the author of the child's life, and an offering back of this gift that the parents and family have received. It is also an implicit declaration that this person's life is to be lived under God's lordship. Unfortunately, many people see life as a cheap commodity. Worse, they think they have a say on who lives and who does not. Such arrogance and pretense. Do we realize that we can snap out of life in a second?